Hi, I'm Rafi. I wanted to make a video of how to make an organ pipe. And today we're going to be making a Prestant G pipe. Uh, to start with, I've planed down and sized four sides. The sides of the pipe are cut exactly to the internal depth of the pipe. The top and the bottom are cut to the internal width plus two times the thickness plus an eighth of an inch. The extra eighth of an inch will give us a sixteenth inch overhang on each side that I'll come back later and clean up with a router so that will give me nice flush edges. And the first step will be to glue one side to the bottom, to the back side of the pipe. So I'll take the bottom and set it down. Take the glue. square to make sure and I can push or pull the bottom of the clamp in to adjust that. Make sure that I get the sides perpendicular. Now I've got that glued, and as you can see on the end over here, I've glued this side such that there's a about a sixteenth of an inch, a little bit of overhang of the bottom side, and then that's what I'll go back and clean up later on. Next I'm going to make the block that will form the bottom of the pipe. I've taken this piece of wood and planed it down to exactly the internal depth and internal width of the pipe. Then I've uh, taken the calipers and marked out the spots where I need to make the cuts and I've gone ahead and sketched in approximately what the piece will look like when it's done. I'll use the, radi the table saw here set to 70 degrees to make the angled cut. Then I'll move over to the radial arm saw uh, to make the rest of the vertical cuts there and to part the piece off. Now I'll mark the center of the bottom of the block to drill the hole in for the pipe to feed the air to the pipe. Doesn't have to be exactly precise. I drilled two different size holes so one when the pipe the piece of copper pipe that goes in won't go all the way through. And I'll just take some sandpaper and deburr the rough edges. 
and the block will be ready to go on to the two sides that we already glued. Like a hole comes through there, bigger hole on the bottom. The next step is to glue the block to the two sides that we've previously glued together. The block will sit in there like that. that, let that sit for a while. The next step is to glue the second side to the two sides and block that we already have. That will go on there like that and then I've cut off a piece of the stock that I used to make the block so that the width is the same and I'll use that piece to keep the gap consistent between the sides throughout the length of the pipe. Start at the block and down the edge of the side. Let that sit for a while. The next step is to cut the upper lip into the front side of the pipe, and I'll do this on the table saw. I have the blade set to 80 degrees, and I'll pass this piece through vertically so it'll cut a 10 degree angle on the front of the piece. And I have this jig here to hold, hold the piece vertical while I pass it through the table saw. table saw operation it was cut almost to a complete point which is too sharp so I used the radial arm saw here to cut a nice square edge and to uh, give it an edge that isn't a complete point there's a slight flat on there and then that will form the upper lip of the pipe. 